this is a little weird for me. I've never done anything like this before. Um, I'm definitely not a YouTuber. I've only posted a few videos and I really don't know anything about social media at all. Um, but I still want to say this anyways because I am peeved. Jenna Marbles. I know you probably won't see this. Um, you follow me on Twitter, thank you, which is one of my, you, I do stand up sometimes and that's one of the first things I say to prove to people my eligibility. Jenna Marbles follows me, so anyways. Um, I am at 28 and I have been watching you ever since I was, I mean, when you're just fresh, fresh on YouTube, honestly. Um, I really didn't know much about the internet or social media. I just knew that I thought you're funny when you're talking about how girls drive cars and stuff like that. Things that don't offend me at all. Um, and I enjoyed watching you because you were just authentic. You were cathartic. Cathartic to watch and authentic. And I do not see a lot of, of authentic people. And it feels good to see someone who just enjoys living, existing, being a person. You know, I see a lot of people who they feel like they don't exist unless they're, um, looking, I don't mean this in an insulting way, but I mean always having a bunch of makeup on, um, always trying to be just really pristine and pretty and perfect and I can't relate to them because I'm not a perfect person. I have problems and I'm kind of dorky and I appreciated that you were authentic and that you were kind of dorky and not obnoxiously over the top, not folly, just being a person. And I really appreciate that about you. Try not to look at myself. You can tell I'm not a professional. Um, you really, really helped me. It feels really tacky. <laughs> it feels tacky, but I'm being, I'm being honest. Um, I'm diagnosed with Asperger's. I'm kind of weird. I don't know how to, I've really struggled with relating to people and just being around people and just being a person with other people. It's, it's hard. It's not easy. Um, especially when I was in college, it was, it was difficult in college. Um, I was scared to talk because I was scared to look foolish and give people the opportunity to not like me or to think I was stupid. But watching your videos, watching you just be a person and be authentic and not playing a character, not being perfect. Um, it, I mean, I really channeled you, honestly, I channeled you through my early years in college up until I started learning who I am as a person. I learned that I didn't have to be talking to exist or be important. Um, I didn't have to be liked to exist or be important. I didn't have to be producing anything. I didn't have to be wearing makeup. I didn't have to be pretty all the time. I didn't have to be making a lot of money. I didn't have to have a boyfriend. I didn't have to have those things. I could just be. I could just be. And that's totally okay. And I'm um, definitely an introvert. And you're probably more of an extrovert. Um, but I liked you because you're real. You're a real person. And you are not a hateful person. And you're not a bully. And I'm so sorry that you have been falsely labeled. That people have given you a title. That people have spoken curses over you. Things that are not true. Not true. You're not a racist. You are not a bully. You are not toxic. You're funny and you're nice. Um, I'm pretty sad that you're leaving YouTube. I'm extremely disappointed. I'm upset that the mob of bullies, not open-minded folk, but bullies are taking you off the internet. Um, and I'm not trying to belittle anything that you say or belittle your feelings, but I do want to say that there's always someone who's going to be offended. And it's okay to apologize for a few things. Say, I did this. It was wrong. You know, that's okay. But I, I also want you to know that you will always offend somebody. You're always going to offend somebody. Your existence. You have a very big audience. There's always somebody who's going to be offended. And that does not make you a bad person. And that does not take away from your value. You are a nice person. You're a good person. And I'm really sorry that you're being bullied, honestly, by actual toxic, actual hateful people. And there's a difference between revenge and justice. Um, I think it might. I'm really sad that you're leaving YouTube, but I can appreciate the need to be alone and have alone time. Um, and it probably is okay to 
cancel social media and I'm not saying that I'm not part of the mob I don't want to get rid of you but I just don't want you to be affected by the ickiness the nastiness you know Julian life loves you Julian loves you your dogs love you I know your mom loves you based off the videos I've seen so just be with the people who love you be with the people who love you I really hope you come back I'm really upset that you're leaving I don't approve of you being kicked off the internet by the mob I'm not trying to belittle your feelings I'm just all of it I'm just sorry I'm frustrated and I'm sorry and I've really hoped that I can meet you someday I know that's probably never going to happen but I really like you and I admire you and I just hope that you take a lot of bubble baths and drink wine and cuddle with Julian um, and your dogs and just just go ahead and have alone time and reject those curses that have been spoken over you that are not true okay that's all I have to say yeah thanks Jenna for being a pal I appreciate it